Welcome back to Derek Huffman's Project. I am joined by Andrew as always, and we are now on to outskirts. Zero deaths challenge, meaning we cannot die a single time from start of the mission to finish. Anything you want to add? No. Uh, if you haven't watched Pyro Station, go check it out. We explain the rules a little more in depth, I guess. But yeah. one thing I do want to mention, this is our all-time favorite mission in every Halo. We played this one the most. And if you look here, we have it set on Legendary with two skulls activated, one being the Infinite Ammo Skull, the other being a Rare Dialogue, which doesn't really affect difficulty it's at all. Uh, it's just funny. So here we are. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the sniper rifle and let's make our way to the rooftops. We're going to take a little shortcut. Yeah, you want to explain that a little further too? Yeah, there's, we're not, we're not setting any rules in place that says we, we're not allowed to take shortcuts. If there's a shortcut available, by all means we're going to take it. Yeah. And uh, it saves us a ton of time and lessens, lessens our chances of death in this early part of the mission. And it's realistic to think that these two guys, they have a destination in mind and, you know, they're good at parkour and they hop up on these rooftops and they get past the enemy, right? It's strategic. Absolutely. And maybe they're higher ranked than those grunts back there so they don't have to go and be down there in the thick of it. Right. They can, they, they can afford to do this because they're allowed to. Right. Exactly. I mean, this is going to save us at least 15 minutes. Uh, you already have a sniper rifle. What I'm gonna do, we play this mission so many times as kids. Uh, I'm gonna go get my own sniper rifle. We know this map like the back of our hand. Oh my god, a grunt just stuck his own elite. I saw that. Wow, thanks, grunt. He was working for us. He had it with the way that elite was treating him. Yeah, that was a, that was a situation we've never seen before. And we play this yeah, mission a lot. That doesn't happen. Yeah. So far, so good. So far, very good. I'm gonna toss a few grenades down this tunnel, down this hallway. Kind of reminds me of the Darth Vader hallway from Rogue One. Yes, very much, especially with the red view right now. Yeah. Bingo! Push on through! I think I already mopped the floor with him. Well, I haven't even gotten there yet. And there we go. Incoming aircraft. I'm gonna take out these two grunts right here. And try to get back into the hallway before I get blasted by the aircraft. I made it. I'm gonna uh, kneel down. Just to avoid the risk of us sniping each other. a real military strategy, I think. Yeah, I think we're being militant tonight, right? It's pretty good. At least stay left. Well, I'll stay right, you stay left. That way we're in formation that's consistent with real life here. Yeah. You're on the left side of the couch, and which one of us wants to crouch, just in case? Crouch. Okay. Well, I think most of them are actually done. Yeah, Probably I think we're good. Out. Let's advance. <laughs> we just got the formation. <laughs> that was our big formation moment. <laughs> yes, it sure was. Never be utilized. Alright, two goats down here, huh? Wow, quick! Yeah. I mean, we quick work of them. Pretty efficient so far. I'd say so. Alright, on to the next. Sorry, uh, second or third night doing this. It's out, outskirts in particular. We've uh, had a rough go at it lately. Yeah, and you know what? It's like, this is the mission that we were least intimidated by going into this. Right. Because we know it so well, and it's proven to be um, a fairly straightforward, easy mission. Yeah. Up until we kind of, you know, underestimated it. But once we got in that mindset, it's like, oh, this mission will be a piece of cake. Yeah. That's when we really started having trouble. Yeah, odd, isn't it? It's almost like we have such a familiarity where, I don't know, let our guard down too much. Yeah, we got a little too complacent with this one, but here we are. I think we're, we're banging this one out really well so far. I don't want to get cocky, but yeah. so far so good. As my voice cracks a little bit. <laughs> I'm actually going to get away from me altogether. Smart. 
Nice. Put um, that sniper down. He was our biggest threat in this region. Oh, here comes a ghost, no kidding. What is your favorite weapon against the ghost? Do you try to snipe him? Do you throw some grenades, battle rifle until he kind of deteriorates? Do I have the choice of any weapon in the game? The R weapons. Right? Oh, the ones that we have? I go for sniper and I just try to snipe the cockpit region uh, as close to hitting him in the head as possible. Right. Because just hitting his ghost will damage the ghost, but it won't damage him. Right. Until the ghost explodes. Yeah, that's fair. I feel like the sniper, even if you hit the ghost, does more damage. So far, so good here. I mean, we're being pretty efficient. Let's keep our eyes peeled for any elites that might be around the structure. Unfortunately, many of our uh, outtakes have been pretty good content in terms of just what we're kind of going through, things we like. But we're going to take it a little uh, slower tonight. We're really going to try to accomplish this. Uh, watch out, there might be somebody in that crate. Mm -hmm. throw some grenades in there. Wow, I'm surprised there's nobody in that crate. I think we did a good job taking them out. Yeah. We are really crushing this mission so far. We're blazing through, making great time. Fun fact, our, one of the more dangerous people coming over is our, uh, our own guy here, so. Let's let him pass, let's let him pass. He doesn't stop for fucking Oh man, come on, go. Maybe these are in his way so he's not moving. I'm just gonna take him out of it. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna right. get this guy shooting the enemy. We should be all set. He's not even looking in the right direction. <laughs> it's just so... Oh, it's gonna get ugly! All right! All right! We're in it! This is- this part is dangerous! This, this is warfare. I'm gonna go straight to Fort Nevermind! Grenades, grenades... I catch yourself! Nice work. We made work of him. Sure I'm gonna move into Fort Nix and I'm gonna see what I can do. Alright, here's the ship. Oh my god! What? What? <laughs> I just, just headbutted a, a, a grunt accidentally <laughs> and quickly made my way up the ladder. <laughs> but he didn't shoot at me. It's almost like we had a moment of like, oh <laughs> well, let's let, let's let ourselves get by each other. <laughs> I am dodging these blasts, incoming blasts. I'm too fast. Ow! I got tagged. Do you like the fact that infinite ammo still has you reload? You don't know. Well, <laughs> well, if I had my way, I would have it so you don't Rumble reload center, it and you just keep blasting. That would be awesome. Right. Well, that's kind of what I'm saying. Would you, but for sake what we're doing, is that too easy? No, I would love it so much. I would make it so much more fun. So for that reason alone, I would just a skull for it. Probably not. I don't know. So. We'll, we'll look. Anybody who's well, watching the like skulls shit. well, leave a comment and let us know if there's a, uh, a skull that does that. Right. Speaking of people watching, um, I have a good friend, uh, Jake Birch, big Halo fan. Yes. And, uh, you know, he watched our first video there on Cairo Station. Yep. If he's watching this, shout out. Uh, thank you, Jake, for the, the pointers. And. Sure. We'd love to get him on sometime. Yeah, we would. Him. We would. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Uh, hopefully, you know, he visits Rhode Island again sometime in the near future and we could maybe feature him on the podcast. That'd be really cool. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Remote in or something, we'll figure it out. Is that everybody in the section? I don't want to move in too preemptively. Yeah, I'm thinking so. You think we're good? Yeah. I'm going to advance. I'm actually going to grab our, uh, our guy over here. Welcome aboard, Chief. I gotta say, our performance is quite swelling. It's so quick fun. tonight, isn't it? Yeah. With the exception of forgetting the techno technology part. Um, Here comes ghosts. Yep. Scary ghouls. There we go. 
Yeah, technology seems to be our biggest, uh, our biggest inhibitor in this whole podcast, doesn't it? We forget this, we start recording, but we didn't record this. We, what, tonight we, we forgot to mute the TV. If we don't mute the TV, it's, it just sounds like chaos. And it's hard to, it drowns out our voices. Yeah, because, oh, sniper, be careful. Um, I'm actually gonna keep my head down if you can peek and snipe the guy. Oh, careful. There's a sniper right there? There's a sniper, yeah. Oh, shit. You, you weren't kidding, huh? Got him. I feel like he blocked onto me in that moment, so. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm freaking damaged. Yeah, that's the new Here comes ghosts. I don't know, I see a rocket now. One goes down, second to go. Is this guy even fucking shooting? Second goes down. Oh, Might be somebody underneath me inside this base. There is. Ready? Got him. You got him. Point blank. That's good news. Crushed I'm, him. I'm coming up now. I'm gonna find the stairs. All right, I'll be the one to advance. I'm gonna run right back to Fort Nix. Luckily, we have our own guy here. Watch the sky. Anyone watching? Watch the sky. Watch this. You just <laughs> Gets me every time. All right, I'm coming back to base. Ghosts, incoming ghosts. I'm gonna make my way up the ladder. It's safer there. I feel safe when I'm with you. <laughs> I feel safe now that we have our guys actually shooting them. True, true. Oh, the are just about to get the horses. Man, rockets are huge up in this section. So, do, do you, do you, are you still catching like whiffs of that great stuff that I no, saw? No, it's you. I think it might be in your mind. Okay, at this good. Point. It, it's not even a bad smell. It's not as if you like have garlic on your hand, you know? it's. It's great. There's plenty of worse smells, right? Yeah, it's like a grape. Artificial grape, but... Um, for anyone who might be confused about what we're talking about, earlier tonight I, uh, I had a, a flavoring, like a squirt. Come on, let's roll! Uh, a little bottle of water flavoring. Yeah. And, uh, grape flavor. And I guess the... the the cap was a jar, so it was kind of squirting out inside my pocket right here. Yeah. I can smell it. Watch it! Go! Um, but you caught a few whiffs early on in the night, but yeah, I did. nothing not not horrible at all. Nothing any more since. Nope. Not at all. I don't think they expected us to be here. By the way, so far so good here. I mean, we're we're hammering through. Humanity on Earth. I don't want to jinx ourselves, but maybe we can smell the metropolis tonight as well. Oh, rockets. Rockets. Rockets, indeed. He's gone. He's gone. Very nice. Iced him. Our friend here is actually, uh, really helping us out. Hey. Good for him. It's, it's nice to have, uh, some comrades working for us. Yeah, sure is. Incoming! Probably should have brought you over here in retrospect, but I could use the exercise. <laughs> so far so good. I'm actually uh, surprised how far we're getting this pretty quick. I mean, do we dare jump into conversation or has that just been the death of us? I mean, let's try it. This will be the test, ready? If we jump into this conversation and die, yeah. that proves we're not conversation material. Like, if we... Yeah. <laughs> so let's try it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to ask you is what is your top three favorite martial arts of all time? Mm. And again, this is all together. It's not to, just to watch, not just to practice. It's well-rounded. What is my top three? Mm. Oh shit, well, it looks like that guy's done. Um, number one, Muay Thai. I like the fact that it's well-rounded. You can do all Muay eight limbs. You get in close, elbows, knees, farther away. You're kind of standing up your fists, your legs, feet. Mine's the same number one. Same number one. Uh, number two, kickboxing for me. Again, standing, staying stand up, right? Same number two. Uh, number three, it's 
boxing. Same number three. Same number three, huh? Across the board, we yeah. have the exact same top three. We've discussed this before. We respect so much the the strategy that goes into and kind of the uh, the chess match of a good jujitsu or a good you know ground game. But if you're watching a boxing match versus a really high profile jujitsu match, you're gonna want to watch the boxing. You know. I just pre I prefer stand up. Uh, fighting, you know, ground game, I respect it infinitely, and I have nothing right. but uh, admiration for that style. Right. However, me personally, I'm just a stand-up guy, you know, mm. I, I like watching two guys square up, you know, throwing technical kicks, team kicks, uh, getting the clinch even, that's fine. Throwing some elbows and knees. That type of stuff I like. It's what I enjoy watching. Right. Uh, so with that being said, I have the same top three as you. Muay Thai, you made a good case for it. I mean, it's a, it's one of the few martial arts that implement all eight limbs. It's one of the few martial arts that put emphasis on the teep kick. Mm. I don't think any other martial art really puts emphasis on the teep mm. the same way that Muay Thai does. Now, that's not to say that the other two in my top three, which is the same as you, kickboxing and regular boxing, doesn't have great things to offer. Right. For instance, boxing? Boxing, they really, um, they really put emphasis on the head movement, the countering, the blocking and parrying, the footwork. All that stuff is amazingly fun to watch. Ever see a guy just you know, bobbing and weaving, avoiding a flurry of punches. Yeah, most famous Muhammad Ali. You know, Muhammad Ali's done it. And... There's plenty of boxers I've seen do it on these highlight reels, though. Oh, for sure. Floyd Mayweather's always been very good at it. And when it comes to that, to be honest with you, that might even be more fun to watch than somebody who's, uh, you know, two guys that are just cracking each other one yeah, after probably. the other. Yeah. I think I'd rather watch somebody like embarrass some guy who's throwing a flurry and he's just avoiding every single punch and making right. him look silly. Right. That right there, I think I enjoy that. That's pretty that, cool. That's the pinnacle of fighting for me, entertainment wise. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Yeah, I think it's really well said. I mean, building on that, take boxing for example. You know, there's a lot of clinch work involved. You know, you get tired, you get rocked, clinch, right? Yeah. Muay Thai makes it more exciting because in the clinch you have your knees, you have your elbows, you have the uh, the ability to still strike. You know, boxing is a little more sanctioned. It's a rule book, you know, code of points. That's why for me, and this might even exist, if you have an organization that they don't allow for ground game, mm. but it, you're still wearing UFC gloves, let's say, and yeah. kicks are allowed, elbows are allowed, knees are allowed, um and you're but you're just not allowed to go to the ground. So if you knock if you knock someone down, yeah. it's a 10 second count just like boxing. The difference being you're allowed to throw use all eight limbs. Yeah. And uh and there's no rule against elbowing, kneeing. Yeah. And you can throw in those kicks, any kick you want. There's definitely Muay Thai that's similar to what you're saying. Muay Thai organizations that do that and Really? They're definitely like kickboxing stand-up. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you gotta send me, you know, the names of these organizations, because take my money. I, I, def <laughs> I definitely watch. I definitely watch. 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 Well, I'll throw some on YouTube Don't a little bit after this. After the yeah. camera. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is probably a good point for Rockets, no? I'm gonna sure, let you take sure. the lead. By the way, no, we don't really do vehicles in this mission. We've died too many times on it. We'd like to take our time. And it's always, we're taking the safe route, this high ground up here on the right shoulder, which is significantly safer than being down there on road level. Mm. We found that out from experience as well. Yeah, for sure. It didn't take until the no die experience to really go on foot in the section. We always used to do vehicles, try to rage through. Yeah, and which I'm glad that we changed it up and, and 
because this this re it revamps the mission because we'd be really dreadfully sick of this mission by now oh, yeah. without it. So the Zero Deaths Challenge, it's like playing the game all over again. Yeah. And we're going to be going in chronological order for the most part. We did Cairo Station. I'm pretty sure we're about to dust outskirts. We're moving on to Metropolis next. That'll be in a separate video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, after that, it's like we're really getting into unfamiliar territory because it's really these first three missions that we know well. After that, we don't know the mission so well. That we know well, right. Yeah, so that'll, it's definitely going to become even more difficult. It's, yeah, but it's going to become more fun, right? Because it's, although this is fun, it's the same mission we played forever, right? Yeah. It's going to be new for us. It's going to be like playing Halo 2 as a kid, only new, you know? The unknown adds excitement. For sure. I mean, it's not, we played all of Halo when we were young. It's not as if this is our first time, but it's our first time in a very long time, and we're not as familiar. Like, we played probably every mission, I'd say, as a Halo 2 kid. And you know, if this series does well, say if we start gaining traction and mm -hmm. it starts getting some views, yeah, we'll, we're willing to take it on to Halo CE, Halo 3, oh, yeah. hell, we'll even try Halo 4 and 5. I don't, from what I've seen, I don't really care for those games too much, Yeah, but even Halo Infinite, I haven't given that one a try, and cool. that one actually looks kind of cool. Uh, that. We're, we're willing to take this challenge to other games. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Duty. GTA, GTA. We'll, we'll, we're, we're willing to take it to all those games. It's a concept uh, we love. We love the concept. If we gain traction and start seeing some views, that's what we'll do. Absolutely. All right. Apparently, they're just waiting for us here, so that's uh. Alright, got two elites down. Now I'm gonna start bombing those two uh, two vehicles right oh, there. Here we have died in the section. There seems to be stragglers. Yep, there's Good definitely point. Stragglers. Yeah, these two carriers right here. Uh, you work on them, I'm gonna work on these carriers. I'm actually gonna uh, back up a little bit. Alright, carriers oh, are going down. There's a ghost down there, be careful with him. I'm gonna work on this ghost. Um, here he is. Got him. Oh, he survived it. Alright, now I got him. Can't be too sure though, there might be stragglers in, in this wreckage. Unlikely, but it's possible. So far so good. Alright. What, what is your favorite movie of all time? <sighs> this is... Alright, admittedly, we have talked about this on outtakes that we've died and that we've, you know, we'll never end up using. You've asked me this a few times and I still can't come up with an answer. I kid you not. If I had, right off the top of my head, Revenge of the Sith. That's your answer then. I feel like it's too easy of an answer, right? But it might be my favorite. Uh -huh. I just noticed something. Look, and sorry to cut you off, but look at my scope right there. It, oh, it's following along. Well, go back to the... Uh, yeah, yeah, look at my scope right there. Yeah. It's actually following along. Your movements are showing up in that little uh, screen and everything. Yeah. I wonder if that's a Halo 2 anniversary enhancement, or if that was just the original. You know what I'm saying? I actually... this The newer version, it's not real-time. It sucks. I don't know why they would change that. Look, I'm not even moving and the thing is moving. Yeah, I don't, it's not good. This... Let's be honest, these graphics... So much better. Alright, this is where we have to start getting a little more careful. Some rockets involved, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start bombing them. The 
There was a sniper in here. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, ghost. Uh, ghost. I'm just start popping some grenades, seeing what sticks. right there. Yeah, there it is. I don't remember any snipers in this situation, do you? No, there's none. Wow, so this is, let's, let's just call it early, we beat this mission. Yeah. So if you stayed, if you, if you were watching through the whole video, uh, congrats, this is the take where we did it. Yeah. We're through, and now the next video we're on to Metropolis. Um, there's probably like a straggler or two in here. We're, we're gonna take him out real quick. We're gonna take care of Metropolis, hopefully in one night as well. Yeah, hopefully in this very night we'll be able to uh, have two videos wrapped up and ready to upload on the channel. We came ready to play tonight. I mean, the last two or three nights seem like an absolute ridiculous mess now, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like... It's so easy to... We were off our game the past two nights or something. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, but here we are. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Figuratively and literally. The light that's much better than the fucking new version of, oh, sorry for swearing, but I mean seriously. Well, it's brighter in the new version, it's so terrible. it looks more like heaven, like you're going to heaven. I don't like it. I like this. You like when it's a little bit more dreary looking? You kind of have to close your eyes, you kind of have to look down. <laughs> I, I like, I like this. Anyway. That's it. Jump. So, we did not die a single time. That's how you do the challenge. Uh, feel free to try this challenge at home. We highly recommend it. Yeah. Meet us at Metropolis. Subscribe to the channel. Drop us a like. We would greatly appreciate it. See you there. I'm so easy.